Hello and welcome. This is a sort of part two or add-on to a video I made yesterday about using assets in either Affinity Photo, Affinity Publisher and Affinity Designer because they all work exactly the same in the same three programs. Um, but I will be doing this in Photo mainly because this is at the moment this is where the only place I have this um, set of assets. I haven't put it into the other two programs yet and I use photo mainly because it is my default program for opening images so I've opened the images in this program and made the sets in photo and then I will distribute them around or you know the other two programs when I've finished this particular set. Now this is like I said this is an add-on to that video that I because I forgot something but just a quick recap I have lots of free designs and whatever that I've downloaded over the years and it makes it very hard to find. So let's say for example I have a young relative who's into pirates and I want to make him a birthday card. I want pirate themed sort of clip art to make him that birthday card. And it, in the past I would have spent not ages hunting around all the various different um, clip art collections that I've got to try and find pirate related ones so it's easier to make yourself a little collection of things that are of the same topic like pirates so you can make a new category by coming up to the top menu here and create category and once you've made that new category you can then come back to this menu and rename it now it is like I said in the first video, it's a very long and laborious process of opening the pictures one at a time and when you have them in, you, you then come down to add from selection from the, the currently selected picture will be moved into the assets. Now I've done that with all of these and I've still got about three pirate packs to add but I'll just work with these ones so far and I've not categorized them all I've done so far is rename them um, and you can do that just by right clicking on the particular um, clip art and coming to reset uh, rename I should say sorry and if you don't like it you can always delete it so I've done that part of it but I want them into different categories so this is a bit that I missed off the first video, sort of organising them a bit better. So, first off, this is just called assets. It's by default, is what they're called, the subcategories. So, I'm going to rename this subcategory, and I'm just going to call this flags. So that will now change to flags. So obviously I've only got a couple of flags in here at the moment. So I don't want the rest of these uh, um, images in the flags subcategory. So I need a new subcategory. So I'll come up to this menu and create subcategory. And it will call it assets. And I'm going to make a couple here. Um, And it will just keep calling them assets, but then number them. So, sometimes it just takes a little while to catch up. Right, so I've got three of them at the moment. So, I'm going to rename this one. Pairs of chests. Rename this one Treasure Maps and rename this one, of course, one Pirates. And I think I will. 
make one more. And for now, I'm just going to call this miscellaneous items. Right, so I have my new subcategories, so I need to get these images into those subcategories. So let's start with the pirates. So if you can click on the image that you want to move and hold down the button, you can drag it down and into, as you can see, you now got this blue line around the pirate subcategory. So when I let go of the mouse button, that will now be moved down and into that subcategory. And you just need to wait until you've got that blue line. Because if I, if I dropped it there where that blue line is, it will put this in between those two. And if I put it at the end, it will place it at the end of those particular ones. So it's just now a case of moving them over as I now want them. So let's go with the treasure chest. So I'll click move it down to the treasure chest one. Get this there. Sometimes it does slow down the program and it just needs to catch up a little while, at least on my computer anyway. So I think that's all the chests. Now these ones I numbered, so in, just in case I got them out of order, that's two, that's three, three, two. So there's another two there, so I need to move that one up to there. That's four, four. Right, so then we have the treasure maps. So let's move this down. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. See, I accidentally moved the flag down. I don't want to do that. I want that in the flags folder. So I think that's all the maps. So let's go with, I think what I'll do is I will make yet another subcategory. And I'll call this one ships. And then move that one down. Right, so last one would be the miscellaneous items which is going to be the sword the hook and the parrots and what have you and the anchor so again i'll do this as quickly as i can Right, so that's some organized into subcategories. But let's say that I've now I've done this, I'm not too happy about the positioning of the subcategories because you may want like the pirates to be the top and the miscellaneous items at the bottom. So if you come to this menu, say for miscellaneous items here, and then you can do 
move down and that will put it sort of the next layer down and the same with the pirates I can move that up and it's just a case of keep moving it up until you get it into the position that you want just got to wait for my program to catch up Right, so I've now got the pirates at the top, miscellaneous items at the bottom, and I can move them around, you know, up and down the list, and like I probably have got some of these in the wrong order because I try to do it as quickly as possible, so I can move them around. So that is basically how you can organise your assets, and then all you do when you've finished organising and you've got in everything that you want, you can then just export your assets and I'm going to obviously overwrite the previous one that I I had and then when I've finished getting all the other pirate images that I have into this assets pack I'll then add it to both publisher and designer so I've got them in all three programs so basically that is it I'm sorry I forgot that bit on the first video and hopefully it wasn't too boring to watch thank you for watching and goodbye